This statement is provided on behalf of Association Hair 21 and Sexual Rights Initiative. The organizations would like to bring the attention of member states to the issues concerning right to health, specifically whole life cycle approach of sexual and reproductive health in primary health care, access to safe abortion and access to family planning services for rural women and girls. In 2015, government of Georgia accepted recommendations of Denmark, Rwanda, Algeria, Brazil and Belarus regarding access to health care. However, failure to allocate sufficient resources, a weak primary health care system and poor gatekeeping role uh, were key barriers to address. In addition to this, there is no SRHR indicators integrated in primary health care system. There is no integration of minimum initial reproductive health package for emergency and response plan of Ministry of Health Care at all. Lockdown and subsequent restrictions left rural women and uh, girls isolated without access to information and essential SRH services. In 2015, Georgia also accepted recommendation regarding access to safe abortion services, but in reality it failed in implementing this recommendation. Women and girls in Georgia still face stigma and discrimination and violation of fundamental rights to bodily autonomy, bodily integrity, and the attainment of the highest standard of health. Legal regulatory framework governing safe abortion and mandatory waiting time are key issues also to be addressed. Uh, these issues contradict WHO recommendation and violates women's access to safe abortion. The law of Georgia on health care prohibits abortion advertisement. As a result, in Georgia there is no access to scientific right information on safe abortion methods. In 2050, Georgia also received some recommendation regarding ensuring access to quality SRH services, including contraceptive services for rural women and girls. But in reality, girls in Georgia in rural areas are facing uh, accessibility barriers and there is no access to sexuality education for them as well. There is no integration of contraception in state universal health care package for vulnerable groups of population. Due to the unmet need of contraception, approximately 66% of rural women of, of fertile age are left without access to any kind of contraceptive methods. Therefore, we would like to recommend the government of Georgia to develop and integrate sexual and reproductive health indicators in primary health care for all age groups of population during whole life cycle approach. Revised law on health care of Georgia to completely remove abortion advertisement. Integrate minimum initial service package for reproductive health in state emergency and preparedness plan of Ministry of Health Care. Ensure integration of contraception in the state universal health care package for socially vulnerable groups of population, including women, youth, and internally displaced persons. We would like to thank you for your attention and would like to invite you to consult on our advocacy fact sheets available at UPR Info webpage.